If you're looking for a simple, safe, and affordable charger that can handle a wide variety of different batteries, the VC4 is an easy recommendation. I've been relying on this charger for years, and it's been both versatile and effortless to use, making it perfect for handling my many different batteries. This charger works so well that I've never felt the need to upgrade. The original model is still great and is now fantastically priced at just $17. However, XSTAR continues to provide small changes to this design over time, and this new Plus model comes in at about 30 bucks and has several great improvements worthy of an upgrade. The most notable features include USB-C connectivity, faster charge speeds, adjustable current, battery storage and grading modes, and bigger charge bays for greater cell compatibility. The VC4 is a straightforward charger with four spring-loaded bays that allow for both large and small battery types. A simple LCD screen provides information about the cells and charging operation, which can be controlled by the two front buttons. A USB-C port allows the charger to run off a variety of sources. This charger automatically detects and charges both nickel metal hydride and various lithium ion chemistries, and can handle everything from small 10440 cells to large 26650 and 21700 size batteries. And the slightly larger Plus model now allows long protected 21700s to be charged. Unfortunately, it's still just barely too short to fit 26800 cells. The charge current of the VC4 Plus has been increased to 3 amps with Qualcomm Quick Charge compatibility. Unlike the older version, current is not affected by the specific bays in use. Each is fully independent this time around. However, the more bays are in use, the less each can output, and total current is still limited compared to some other chargers on the market. So this isn't great if you're looking for rapid charge speeds. Using this thing is dead simple. Just plop your cell into any available bay and let the VC4 figure out the rest. It determines the chemistry and current charge level and will charge appropriately to maintain optimum battery health. The large LCD display on top is informative yet easy to read. Four main sections display the charge level, charge current, added battery capacity, and battery chemistry for each individual bay. Above each bay are four indicators that light red while charging and green when finished. The two buttons allow controlling the various functions of the charger. The current button on the left cycles through the charge current levels with a simple press. Pressing and holding this button turns off the display backlight. The right button cycles through the display modes with a simple press, and pressing and holding cycles the charge modes. Display modes are total added capacity, current, and internal resistance. The main charge mode simply charges the cells, obviously, while the grade mode charges the cells fully, discharges them, then recharges again, displaying the measured capacity when finished. This is a great way to get an exact reading of a cell's actual capacity and can help indicate its remaining lifespan. As someone with tons of different batteries, I find this to be a very useful feature. The last mode is Store, which is my favorite new feature. In this mode, the VC4 will only charge the cells up to 3.6 volts before stopping, which is the level at which the batteries are most comfortable. Leaving unused or lightly used cells at this level helps reduce strain and extend overall lifespan, which is a lifesaver if you have tons of batteries that can't be used all at once and is ideal if you're planning on storing these cells. Personally, I charge all of my cells in this store mode and then leave them in my lights this way, only charging them fully if I know a light is going to see more serious or prolonged use. Finally, this charger does have a cell revival feature that helps to bring back potentially dead cells. This is all done automatically, so popping an over-discharged cell into one of the bays will cause the charger to start attempting a revival. It will cease the attempt and display an error if it determines the cell cannot be revived. I haven't tested it on this model, I am not keen on intentionally over-discharging cells, but I have done it on my older VC4 and it worked quite well, so it's a great feature to have. The charger is capable of delivering up to 3 amps into a single bay, but only a single bay at once. Adding more cells will reduce the available current per bay, and four cells at once will limit output to half an amp to each bay. It will also only charge at 3 amps if the internal resistance is low enough for it. Output current will of course depend on the power source used. The VC4 Plus does ship with the USB 3 quick charge brick, though any USB port will work. XSTAR chargers in general are very safe, and they generally prioritize battery health, with charging curves and algorithms that supposedly maximize safety and health or whatever. Honestly, I don't know much about battery charging tech, so I'm just taking their word on this one, but they certainly seem to know what they're doing. The charger will taper off charging current near the end of the cycle, um, and it can be quite slow towards the end. It can take a while to actually finish once the battery is near full. Supposedly, the VC4 is also made of a flame retardant material, which I guess is a nice bonus. The plastic material used here is both solid and lightweight, so the overall construction is nice. There are two issues I have with the operation of this charger. The first is that, when first plugged in, charging rates default to the highest level of 3 amps, and always reset when the charger is powered off. This is just annoying to me. I prefer lower charging current to preserve battery health, and 
I don't like having to adjust it every time I plug the charger in. So this one issue prevents it from being truly mindless plug and play for me. Not the end of the world, but it's something that could be improved upon in the next iteration. The other issue is the charger sometimes fails to correctly identify the voltage level of freshly inserted batteries. This fixes itself after a few seconds, but it's kind of annoying as it sometimes prevents charging when set to storage mode, as the charger will think the batteries are already at the appropriate level. The good news is that when this does happen, it always rates the cells higher than their actual charge, so at least it doesn't overcharge anything. The maximum total charge current could be higher, 500 milliamps per bay is fine, but it would be nice to have at least one amp per bay. I'm ignorant here, but I believe this would require a true USB-C to C cable with power delivery, which would raise the price somewhat, but I feel it would be a great option to have USB-C PD capabilities and then to have both USB-C to C and C to A cables included in the box for more versatility. I can't complain much though, this is capable enough for me and is a great value as is. Finally, though not exactly a flaw, I do wish the charger had an actual power switch. The display can be turned off, but the charger itself must be unplugged to power down. I guess a power switch isn't necessary, but it would certainly be nice. Overall, I do think this is a fantastic charger. It's versatile, easy to use, feature rich, high quality, and affordable. As a result, it gets my highest recommendation and is the first charger I recommend to everybody. If you have batteries to charge, this will do the job. Sure, there are more advanced options out there with more features. There are more portable chargers and faster chargers, but as a total package that does everything, this is nigh unbeatable for only $30. The only issue I have with this charger is the lack of 26800 support which is a very niche requirement that can be worked around without much difficulty. The lack of memory for charge current is also annoying, and the voltage misreads can occasionally be an annoyance as well when they happen, but otherwise, there's, there's really nothing to complain about here. So yeah, I think it's great. Of course, this charger was sent to me free for review, but I was not otherwise paid to make this video, and the opinions expressed here are genuine, but you don't have to believe that if you don't want to. As a user though, I have been using and recommending the VC4 for years, and will continue to do so with this new model. It's the de facto charger recommendation for me.